AITA for refusing to go out to dinner with my autistic nephew because of ranch dressing? I, 27F, have my cousin, 34F, my nephew, 10M, and, niece, 6F, coming to stay with me for four days next month. My nephew is autistic and has some food troubles. In some ways he's not a picky eater, he eats a very balanced diet and is willing to try most things if he's given ample time to mentally prepare. That being said he won't eat anything without ranch dressing. He puts it on everything including sushi and soups. If it does not have ranch, he won't touch it and has a full-blown meltdown if you try to force him. He keeps a little thermos with ranch on him anywhere he goes just in case. My sister really wants to go and have some food she has been missing such as Thai and Indian. I think that's great but I know these restaurants don't serve ranch. I called around to the restaurants to see if they would allow me to bring outside ranch into the restaurant due to my nephew's disability but they said they can't make any exceptions for outside food. I told my cousin as such and she insisted we could just sneak some ranch into the restaurants and it will be fine since she apparently does it all the time at home. I refused. I feel really uncomfortable with the idea and I like these restaurants and don't want to risk getting banned. I know we can just order takeout and both the kids would prefer to stay at my place anyway. I told my sister if she was that insistent on going out to eat I could watch the kids while she went out, or stay home with just my nephew, and she could enjoy the meal herself. My cousin was horribly offended by this suggestion and has been blowing up my phone saying I'm a jerk, trying to prevent her from having a nice vacation with her kids, and that I'm ableist, despite being autistic myself. I really don't think I'm being a jerk but I'm really bad at understanding social norms, and now her husband and my aunt are texting me saying I'm horrible for suggesting she can't have dinner out with her children. She's been threatening not to come visit me and just go stay with her parents, who live two hours away in the opposite direction. So what do you think? Edit, well, I did not expect so many people to have an opinion on this. Thank you for all the comments. I am slowly getting through all the comments. To answer a couple of things that keep coming up. 1. I wanted to be accurate for the story so I called her my cousin, she is my cousin technically, but she's basically my sister and I call her as such, what we call each other, and my tired brain didn't filter that properly. 2. My nephew is working with a professional to help expand his food preferences and ability to eat food without ranch. There's been a small amount of success, but the main way there's been any success is by planning with him what he wants to try weeks in advance, he now eats rice and white bread occasionally without it, and basically putting the food on the table and giving him as long as he needs to try it, this includes letting him leave the table to heavily stim, he likes running around in circles, before he tries it and it does not always work. 3. In regards to why my nephew eats everything with ranch, it is a flavor thing. He's managed to express this to us. We have been experimenting to try and figure out why that flavor is okay, but most other flavors aren't, but there hasn't been a lot of success yet. 4. A lot of people who are saying I'm a jerk are saying that I'm being irrational about getting in trouble with these restaurants, and maybe that's fair. Part of my autism is that I'm extremely rule-breaking avoidant, like obviously some rules have to be broken in life-or-death situations, but something like bringing ranch into a restaurant when I've been told no does not feel life or death, and I'm at risk of struggling and having a meltdown myself if I sneak ranch into the restaurant after explicitly being told no. One of the few things I still really struggle with. Not to mention some of these restaurants for me personally are safe spaces where I know I can eat most of the menu and it doesn't trigger me in any way, so I feel like I'd be putting that at risk. I am going to talk with my cousin with my nephew on the phone and see if we can all come up with something together. The suggestion about letting him eat before and then just get a drink at the restaurant might work, and one of the restaurants is next to a gelato place that I know he can pour ranch over without them caring. Also, this isn't some discreet amount of ranch, if he can see the food it's not enough ranch. If it was a discreet amount I might be more comfortable.